This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Abus Titanium Model 80Ti40. I think this is a noteworthy lock because it is so different from most of the 40mm aluminum padlocks out there. Many companies, including Abus, have patterned 40mm aluminum locks off of the American 1100, and this one is different in a few ways, some good and some bad. First, the good ways. This is a full-size key, which is very unusual to find in a lock of this size. And also, the shackle on this lock is considerably thicker than the American 1100 clones. This one is about 7.5 millimeters, whereas the 1100 is a little bit under 6.5 millimeters. On the bad side of things, you can see that this is not a removable core. And if we open this lock up, you can see that we do not have the ball bearing locking mechanism that you can find in the 1100. We just have a spring loaded locking lug here. Now I would check and show you whether this is shimmable. However, I seem to have lost my shims in the move. However, if you look at video number 181, I took the big brother of this lock, the 80Ti50, and showed that it was indeed shimmable. So what we're going to do today is see what it takes to pick into this lock. I'm going to be using top of the keyway tension with a 32 thousandths thick pry bar from Sparrows. And if we look carefully at this keyway, you can see that it is more than open enough to use a full size 25 thousandths pick. So that's what we will be doing. Okay, let's get started. One is binding, got a little click there. Nothing on two, three is loose, four is loose, five is loose. Six is binding, got a click, little movement on the core and some counter rotation. Let's see if we can set him. I think we have six set, but we lost some of our false set. Back to one, loose, two, three, four, five. I think we maybe didn't get six set all the way. He must be really high. I think I got some more out of him. Let's go back to the beginning. One was binding and we got our false set back. Nothing on two. Okay, counter rotation on three. Okay, got a little click out of him, but lost our false set. We got it back on one before, so let's try that again. And we seem to have opened it up. We must have set four and five accidentally when probing those pins the two times that we went through the pin stack. In any case, we have at least a couple of spools in here. I picked it a couple times before turning the camera on. And I think we have spools in four and five as well. So probably five spools in this lock, which isn't bad. However, certainly no unusual obstacles that would keep a picker out. We have that big open keyway that certainly shouldn't be any problem. And spools, well, they provide some challenge, but not a whole lot. In any case, that's all I have for you on this Abus Titanium Model 80 Ti40. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.